Pinpoint Weather 12. At least at noontime, the weather is much improved from that icy day we had yesterday. We've got blue skies traveling over the highway. If you're out running errands in the next couple of hours, the weather's still looking good. We are concerned about that time frame between 4 and 7 p.m. in the late afternoon and early evening hours. Right now, though, all is quiet over the Newport Bridge, and the temperatures have warmed enough that you can almost hear the melting of ice and a little bit of snow from overnight. We've got temperatures in the mid to upper 30s and step outside. Not a bad afternoon for us. New Bedford's at 36. Smithfield's down to the freezing mark and Chapachet's right at 30 degrees. On the radar is where we're tracking the next batch of snow showers that'll be crossing into New England. So there's still a ways off to the west of us and the timing, as I mentioned, bringing it in during the evening hours. So it's cold that's on the way advancing in along with that cold front and we'll see well below normal temperatures from tomorrow all the way through Saturday morning. We also have a brief snow squall possible this afternoon ahead of that cold front, followed up by that quieter stretch of weather for the end of the week and the weekend. So here's the evening commute. Some slick roads are possible with any snow showers or squalls that come through along with some brief reduced visibility. One thing you're going to notice are that the winds are going to tick up right now we have winds between 5 and 15 miles per hour as that front sweeps through and behind it we'll see some gusts over 30 miles per hour and here's the air that we're grabbing all this cold that you see up across the Great Lakes and Canada going to be pushing into New England behind that front so let's walk you through the rest of the day we'll get a nice and close so you can see that hour by hour forecast and again next few hours all is quiet but by four o'clock we're tracking a few of these snow showers and the potential for a heavier snow squall again not everyone's going to see one but for those that do, conditions on the roads could go downhill. Our temperatures in the evening hours will really start to tumble. That threat of a snow shower, a snow squall, only for that small window of time. Then we're right back to clear skies and the temperatures by 10 o'clock tonight, upper teens to lower 20s. And when you wake up tomorrow morning, around 10 degrees. Now that would be the coldest day since March 10th. That's more than about 285 days ago that we've seen a morning as cold as what we have for tomorrow. We also have a wind advisory. This is kicking in right as that front's coming through. So 6 o'clock this evening to 6 a.m. tomorrow morning for the Cape and the islands only. Gusts 40 to 45 miles per hour. Not likely to see any significant wind issues with it, but it is something to note. And it's certainly got to add in the winds when you're talking about what it'll feel like tonight and tomorrow. Wind chills by 8 o'clock this evening already down into the teens. And when you wake up, Sun, uh, tomorrow morning, we'll be seeing wind chills anywhere between zero and five below. We will not see huge improvement in the wind chill during the daytime tomorrow. Our temperatures in the middle 20s. Winds will still be gusting to 30 miles per hour. So the wind chill stay in the single digits all the way into the afternoon and early evening. It's a cold start on Friday morning, but with less wind near 30 in the afternoon. And then over the weekend, the temperatures do start to moderate. So Saturday game for the Pats this weekend, and it's looking good for that. Just increasing clouds. Sunday is dry. That seven day forecast now has Christmas Eve in it. A Tuesday uh, daytime for or errands or traveling looking good with dry skies and clear and chilly conditions in the forecast right now for Christmas Eve night and it does look like we're dry for Christmas Day, but we'll be keeping you updated on this forecast as we head into the holiday.